Hello there. This is David James from Perfect English. As you all know, Perfect English is a language school that teaches absolutely pitch perfect native speaker English. Today's video is going to be about talking about yourself. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you had to sit a language exam? Let's say the lower exam or the proficiency exam, or maybe the IELTS. And at the beginning of the oral interview, the interviewer asks you, can you tell me a few things about yourself? And then uh, for some reason, you froze up. Either you didn't know what to say, or you, you knew what to say, but you didn't know how to say it. Or have you ever found yourself in a situation where you meet somebody from another country and they ask you to tell them a few things about yourself? and you're not sure what to talk about. That's absolutely normal. Uh, we don't often find ourselves in a situation where we are asked to introduce ourselves and speak about us. So what can we do about that? Well, there's a certain way to introduce yourself to someone who asks you to tell them a few things about yourself. Uh, first of all, you need to know what to talk about, and then you need to know how to say all those things in English. That's exactly what I'm gonna show you today. To begin with, when somebody asks you this embarrassing or awkward question, tell me a few things about yourself. What do they expect to hear? Well, it's not always the same thing, but in most cases, they want you to tell them, first of all, your name. And uh, where you were born and where you grew up. Some things about your family status, whether you are single, or married or divorced, where you live right now, your current residence, place of residence, maybe a few things about your neighborhood, although that's optional, describe your neighborhood, or uh, certainly a few things about your studies, uh, what you studied at university or if you did some other courses. Um, it's always useful to say a few things about your knowledge of languages too, and then they expect you to talk a little bit about your job, about your hobbies and interests, and finally, about your future plans, what you intend to do in the future. So let me give you an example. This will be a generic example. So let's say uh, you begin by saying, my name is, I was born in, you mentioned the place where you were born, and I grew up in, I now live alone, or I now live with my family, or I now live with my wife and my children in, then you name the city. And you may be very specific. If you live in a big city like Athens, you may mention the suburb or the area of Athens where you live, let's say in Kipseli, which is a suburb of Athens. Or you may say, I live in a town or in a village. In the north of Greece, in the south of Greece, in the west of Greece, in the east of Greece. Then you describe your neighborhood. My neighborhood is busy and noisy, for example. It has a football field, a basketball court, a swimming pool, and a number of coffee shops, bars, and restaurants. As for my studies, I hold a bachelor's degree in psychology or in literature from the University of Paris, for example. Or you may say, I hold a master's degree in psychology. In addition to Greek and English, I also speak a little bit of Italian, or I also speak a little bit of French. Um, I currently work as an office clerk, or I currently work as a teacher. Um, in my spare time, uh, I like to I like to go fishing. I like to hang out with my friends. In the future, I would like to I would like to find a better job, uh, uh, or I would like to find uh, a job in my field, or I would like to do postgraduate studies in England or in the United States. Okay, that was a generic example. Now let's look at a more specific example. I'm going to introduce myself. So listen to me introducing myself and this will give you the opportunity to learn a few things about me as well well my name is db james i was born and i grew up in athens back then my name was dimitris boyatzis 
but after living in English speaking countries for a long period of time, I gave myself an English name. And um, then uh, uh, now I live together uh, with my spouse uh, on a small island in Greece. That's because of the coronavirus situation. By the way, this video is being filmed during the coronavirus situation. Uh, so I had to move away from Athens and I now live in a small island. And um, the place where I live is very peaceful and quiet. It boasts a basketball court, a court, and a football field, as well as a playground for little children. Um, there are also a number of bars, coffee shops, and restaurants within walking distance, but they're all closed at the moment uh, because of the coronavirus situation. As for my studies, I hold a bachelor's degree in English literature from the University of Thessaloniki, a master's degree in English literature from Winthrop University in the United States, a PhD in English literature from Texas Christian University in the United States, and a second PhD, this one in creative writing, the University of Surrey in England. Um, in addition to English and Greek, I also speak 10 more languages. So I can stake a claim to being a hyperpolyglot which means a person who speaks multiple languages. Um, right now, uh, I work as a teacher and as the director of studies at Perfect English and at Harmony and Creativity, which is the educational organization that I founded a few years ago, together with Nikki Orfanodaki. And um, prior to that, I used to work as a university professor. In my spare time, I like to go winter swimming. I swim all year round. And um, I like to go on road trips around Europe with Nikki. And I also listen to music. These days I listen to classical music and jazz music and from time to time to vintage rock music that I used to listen to in my youth. Uh, in the future, I would like to continue to be of service to my students and help them reach their goals, and also uh, revise and publish a number of novels that I have written uh, in English, uh, so as to launch my writerly career in the UK and in the US. Well, that's all I had to say about myself. So uh, if you need to, you can watch this video multiple times to familiarize yourselves with the phrases you need to be using to talk about yourself. Um, I hope that you found it useful and until the next time, stay safe and keep working on your English. Bye.